Hi everybody, welcome to acting tip number two. I'm Dana Gerald. I'm giving these tips to people out there, actors who want to know more. This is based on sort of some method acting in this particular tip. So um, some of these things you really don't learn in acting school uh, or in class or in workshops. This is based on experience and uh, I've got about two decades of it so some of this stuff you may have already heard some of it might be brand new for you so uh, if you haven't heard or watched the video on tip number one then you can click here and you might want to watch that first okay that's a good starting point this is tip number two and this is based on a tweet that I did on March 21st of 2012 okay so here's the tip you don't play feelings you release emotions like a volcano or a water gun. Sometimes you erupt, others you trigger by action. Preparation required. All right, now I'm gonna read this. Uh, I've got notes on this tip and I'm gonna have to read fast because there's a lot of information. So get a pen, write it down. You ready? 78 seconds and restart the clock and go. All right. Feelings happen in the real world. They're not created. They just happen. If someone you see jumps to some emotional state of mind, you're going to think they're either crazy or that they're lying to you and they're making something up. That's bad news for an actor if you do the same thing. So you have to release emotions and it involves listening and reacting. And you have to react in the context of the story. If it's a volcanic reaction, it means that things have been building up for your character. Events and things that have happened have caused this stuff to be on edge and then you explode, whether it's laughter or tears. And if you don't know what the backstory events are, then you need to make something up. Probably there will be small indicators along the way, just like a volcano usually doesn't erupt all at once. It has little things that show things are getting volatile. Now a water gun reaction is a different thing. That means that the potential is there, but it takes some action, a physical or emotional action to cause the emotions to come out of you, all right? Now, it could be a physical act that creates the emotional release. It could be scripted. It could be your own body language. Here's a tip. Breathe. Meditate and breathe deeply so that you can connect physiologically to your body. That's it. There's a little bit more there, but I think that's enough for you to understand. Till next time, I'm Daner. And by the way, subscribe so you can get more acting tips. If you have any questions about this one, ask them below in the comments. By the way, give me a thumbs up. Like me if you can, like this video, and then that's going to just keep inspiring me to keep doing more. I've got a lot of tips. I did it for probably three weeks this year. Every single day had a different tip. And um, I'm happy to share them, and I hope you enjoy them. Thanks.